Here we go again. We got another recovery. This time we're in South Sacramento. This guy's been stuck since yesterday. No tow truck companies would come and help him. He ended up staying the night in his vehicle. Uh, somehow got my number today. So we're jamming over there. Should be there in just a minute. If you're new here, uh, my name is Wes. I run 4x4 Rescue. It is a national network of volunteer-based off-road recovery groups. I travel the whole country pulling people out of the mud, sand, snow, and we film it all for social media. I do not charge. These groups are sponsored by Rhino USA. They help us help everybody else, but we're pulling up to this guy right now, and uh, let's see what we get ourselves into today. Well, this is like a wasteland out here. Just people dumping trash like crazy. And we have two trucks stuck now. Uh, I don't even know how I'm gonna get in position to get this guy. There's just trash everywhere. I don't like driving over it. And let me see here. I'm gonna get out and walk and look at it, I guess. <laughs> Buddy, yeah, it's way out here. Nothing, nothing good to get to. Let me see. All right. It's been raining like crazy for like two weeks out here and even just normal grass like this stuff, it's just soft. It's like swampy, no traction. It instantly fills up your tires and you just sink. I mean, this is just a plowed field. Luckily, we have a little bit higher ground right here. I'm not gonna go too far into it. There's nothing to winch off of out here if I get stuck. Could turn into a heyday real quick. This guy came out to help, didn't make it far at all. So um, I think I'm just gonna get my Jeep like right here, a little bit higher ground and run out winch line, bunch of straps and just try and drag that whole damn thing back over. Again, it's tough filming. Camera keeps getting wet, but I'll do the best I can out here. All right, about ready to make our first pull. I'm gonna show you guys how we got it set up real quick. First time using the Warren Xeon, I'm sorry, Warren Evo 12S. Still has the steel cable on it, but I'm about to switch that out. We have quite a bunch of the toe straps ran out. Um, each toe strap is connected with a soft shackle. Perfect use of soft shackles right here. So like always, let's do a count. 20 foot strap, tree saver, so that's 30. We have 60, we have 90. And we have another 20 foot strap so we're at 110 feet of strap plus probably i don't know 60 feet um over 170 foot pull <clears throat> i probably could get a little bit closer but i don't want to chance it with all this sloppiness i'm gonna get this man a radio it's very important that you guys use radios doing this type of stuff because there's no way he could hear me if i'm yelling from 150 feet away here you go brother i'll do it brother so i'm just gonna head to it in this yeah put it in four low and uh, we don't want to spin the tires a lot because the more you spin, the more it's going to sink. So very easily, once you feel just a little bit of tension, cut your wheel all the way towards me and just the little tiniest amount of gas. Okay. If I stop, you stop because gotcha. we'll, we'll have to take breaks. I'm going to winch for five, 10 seconds, stop for 10 seconds, winch for five, tens, and then uh, it's, it's a slow process, but That's how we'll get there. Yeah, yeah, if I stop, you stop. Let's make our first pull. Kind of want to set up my camera right here, but at the same time, I don't want it to get all soaked. But it's GoPro, it should handle it. We'll see. All right, well, we made some progress. I'm gonna reposition, drag out some more winch line, get rid of a strap, and uh, hit it again. Pouring down rain out here takes the fun out of it. My 
only concern though is he's just going to end up getting stuck in this and he's you know, just going to stay in it the entire way out until he gets to over here. And even then, those tires, they're probably just going to keep sinking even when he's up here, but we'll drag it through all this crap if we got to. We're making progress little by little, 10, 20 feet at a time, and then I keep stopping and taking out a tow strap. This will be the second time I've done that. Um, just as I expected, it's not coming out of the hill. It's just going to drag it all the way down. He's just plowing mud at this point. But there's not too many other options to do. Made some big tracks right here. This is where he started. And so far, this is where he's got. So a little bit more. I mean, he should he should start to pop out of it any any minute now. But it's just a slow process. Nasty stuff. I guess he came out here to ride his dirt bikes with his kids. Um, doesn't live too far. And they come out here and just rip ATVs and dirt bikes around. Unfortunately, a lot of people use this area to dump their trash, which uh, unfortunately, again, it's pretty common in Sacramento. They're not dumping trash and there's a bunch of bums living out here, so riding dirt bikes and ATVs is the least of most uh, people's concerns. But it's just so wet, he just he got stuck instantly. But uh, freeze pull the winch, drag it back out, another 30 feet, see if I can make up that, get rid of this toe strap, keep on winching. Huh, what a mess out here. But uh, I took out a 30 foot tow strap, swapped it out with a 10 foot tree saver, so I was able to get rid of 20 feet there. This steel cable is not very long. It doesn't seem very long at all, and I don't like using this steel. I used to not care. I know steel is kind of more durable, it holds up better, but just free spooling steel cable is such a hassle. And then it gets all, if it doesn't get wound up perfectly, it gets all these like bends and kinks in it, and it's just not user friendly. Synthetic rope is so much easier in every way. The only problem is, you know, it doesn't last as long as it's acceptable to, to get sun exposure and damage, get sprayed, but uh, I'll still take synthetic over still any day. Ready to make our third pull. Let's get it. Made a little bit more progress. Another 15, 20 feet, stopping to reposition again for the fourth time. At this point, he's just plowing through stuff, but uh, it's getting there. I don't think this is, oh, it's actually, wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay, that's nothing hard. Thought it was a palm tree stump for a second, but uh, we're gonna winch it right through all this crap. There's no other way around it. Once we get up here, man, I'm hoping, hoping he quits sinking as bad once he gets up to this point. But we will see. Round five, let's do it again. Round six, we're down to the last toe strap. We've made a lot of progress. Fortunately, my GoPro's dying, both running out of SD memory card space and battery life because this is taking a while. So from here on out, I don't think I'm gonna film anymore. I'll just give you an update once it's done or unless I get stuck or something dramatic happens. Quick update, it's almost out, man. He got hung up on that big pile of brush. There ended up being a big palm tree log, like eight to 10 inch log, six feet wide, or six feet long. I just got hung up underneath the back, so we had to back it up a little bit, put down some traction boards and like bump it up over the log. It got to the point to where it was just dragging the Jeep in constantly, so, but we're, we're almost out. 10, 15 more minutes, hopefully. All right, guys, we gave it a bump and uh, we got it out with the kinetic after all. 
all that we got it close enough to where I just hooked up a bunch of line and then bumped it out with the rope took me about three hits on it but we got it we got it Ooh, I don't know why my uh, winch line or my rope is bound up back there that's not good hopefully it didn't damage anything but now we're gonna go get that guy She's a lot bigger than she looked, huh? It's lifted. I didn't realize it was lifted that much. All right, now we're hooked up to this guy. I'm just trying to bump him out little by little. You can see the progress that I've made, uh, but it's just getting rutted up, torn up, slippery. Yeah, you got your wheel turned again. It's caught up on that. I know it's it's easy to, to keep track, lose track of it, but uh. It would actually be better at this point if you turn your wheel that way and then that way it'll kind of follow itself out turn it as much as you can and as i keep pulling on it keep turning it that way a little bit yeah. i'm a back i'm a back up again let's do it again we got them out we got both of them out it took a couple hours super muddy i gotta detail the jeep that's the only thing i don't like about doing rainy recoveries is Oh my God, the Jeep is dirty. It's muddy. Ah, it'll be spotless in the next hour or two. Never be able to tell it even happened. But yeah, headed back home. What an ordeal. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.